guys sup sup everybody like my shirt this is i got this off sheen it is the softest shirt i've ever fucking seen in my life so stretchy perfect for me got baja blast that i don't need that's why i'm up at like two something in the morning Now, now, let me, you ever see my tapestry back here? Let me just, hum, <laughs> I don't know what that was. Let me just hold on here. Let me do my hat trick. Are you going to tell me I can't reach the fucking hat? not part of the show, people. My hat went under the couch on the food table. Am I just reaching in the wrong fucking spot? <laughs> I think I'm reaching in the wrong spot. Jeez Louise. Let's pretend that didn't happen. None of that happened. What if I'm my favorite fucking hat? The only hat that's ever gonna get you banned from anything or anywhere. But. Okay, now that I've fucked around for almost two minutes. This video. This. Ing video. Is going to be. About the fact that I attempted to give myself an undercut. By tooth getting pulled. The stitching being taken out from my tooth. <sighs> Me almost breaking up with... Okay, first of all, we're going to talk about that first. Um, I'll, I'm just going to say it. Communicate whatever you're fucking feeling. Talk about it. Talk about it, okay? I know some people don't listen no matter what you say. But I have this problem where I grew up in a household where my feelings were not important. They weren't seen as a physical importance. So anytime I was upset, quit crying, deal with it, man up, even though I'm a woman. Um, you're overreacting. And eventually I stunted my own emotional growth by saying, you know what? You, 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 and you don't get access to my feelings. You, 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 and the internet do. Um, so I got to the point where I only talked to my internet friends or posted on a blog or wrote lyrics or something whenever I had a depressive episode, and it helped. I didn't end up self-harming. I didn't end up doing a lot of things that people do when they have feelings that are unexpressed. But then... It got to a point where in my head, this relationship that I've been in for three years now, um, in my head, I was convinced of all this negativity that I didn't matter, the person I'm dating didn't care. And I know it wasn't true deep down, but because my brain had always told me that my feelings Basically, it was a catch-22 between being, oh, my feelings are invalid, and who cares what my feelings are? No one's going to listen to them anyway. So, me and him had a long talk, and we're doing better now. And the truth is, all you people out there that the minute something wrong goes in your relationship and you go, bye... Um, and I'm not talking about putting up with abuse, physical or mental. I'm not talking about putting up with someone treating you like garbage. I'm talking about the minute they can't be right there with you the second that you want them to be. Or the minute that they can't, you know, do things for you easily. Or, you know, some other reasonable difficulty. You're giving up on this person for what? Um, but, yeah, I basically 
didn't talk about things and left them grow in my mind to much worse than they were and then we had this long talk and everything's fine now but don't let things grow in your brine take care of it when it's a seed don't let it grow into a sequoia and on to the next topic which is hmm, my tooth so, a couple months ago, my, my back molar, it started with a little tiny cavity, you know, as they do. And then one day I was eating, and either that or I was chewing or something like that, and it, like, the, like this is the top of the tooth. The little cavity was here, it, like, that much of the tooth, like the top of the tooth off. And there was just this hole. And it was bad. I didn't like that there was an open hole on my tooth. Nobody does. But it wasn't hurting. It wasn't bothering me. Till about... Uh, two weeks ago. I'm at work. I do laundry at a nursing home. But I do like large amounts of laundry. And I was... Now this tooth had been like this for months. Okay? With no issue. No pain anyway. And I was kneeling down to get stuff out of the washer to put it in the dryer. The dryers and washers, most of them are bigger than me. We have one normal sized washer for like smaller loads. But I digress. Um, and it felt as if the nerve was moving around maybe or I was going to start getting some sensitivity. But it wasn't hurting then. So I go back into the other part of the room where my purse is. And I take a couple of ibuprofen, three to be exact, and then I stand up to go start folding something again. And this pain was like somebody punched me in the nerve of the tooth. Um, and it stopped me in my tracks. I just stood there like... And then I was crying. I either texted or called my mom, can you find me an emergency dentist, please? And I think I ended up calling her, even though I really didn't want to talk. And I took three more ibuprofen. And I was using Ambisol. And salt water. And it was like... It took like an hour for the ibuprofen to completely kick in. And I rinsed my mouth with salt water because my mom had pointed out what if there's something in there from eating earlier that day. Um, which I didn't feel anything in there and I used to actually floss that tooth a lot because I was afraid something would get down in there. Which, who knows, that might have made it worse. But, um, I do floss my teeth because my teeth, quite a few of them are screwed up and I don't want them to get worse. So I do brush my teeth and I floss my teeth. For anybody that's wondering how I just get cavities. Um, take care of your teeth. That's another lesson from today's video. Um, so, I started taking ibuprofen because I was like, I don't, I don't want it to wear off and then the pain come back. So I was taking a little bit of ibuprofen here and there. And then a couple days later, my mom came over and we figured out a dentist to go to. And then last Wednesday, I went to the dentist and got my tooth pulled. The best part about that, aside from this tooth being out of my mouth, was that I have impacted molars that are like this. They're not up like this like they're supposed to. They're like this, and they're under the gum. Actually, the one back behind that molar is poking through a little bit. They just never grew right. I, I don't know what caused it, but it just never grew right. So this is the molar that's impacted, and this is the nerve of that tooth. It's like curved like this. Like. So the tooth is straight up with nerves like this, and it's right there. And they were worried, going by the x-ray, if it was actually going to be okay. And then she goes and gives me all this nerve cane stuff like they do. And I'm thinking, I'm good, I'm good. Because usually it doesn't take a lot of extra novocaine or anything like that. Usually they give me a little bit and I'm actually relaxed at the dentist. Because I'm a fucking weirdo. 
and she goes to wrench it, and I feel a little bit of pain way down in. And she's like, okay, we'll give you more. She also tells me that if it doesn't stop hurting, that they may have to... you know, give me antibiotics because there might be infection down in there that I don't know about and they might have to wait. And I was like, no, no, you're pulling it. I didn't say that, but in my head I'm like, you're fucking pulling it. I'm, my face is half numb. You're pulling it. So they gave me more Novocaine. It kicked in. They pulled it. But I think part of me wonders if the reason it didn't hurt in that second was like because of the root hitting the impacted tooth, but I don't know. But today, after they pulled it, they uh, put stuff down in it. It was like a dissolvable uh, thing to help heal it. And they stitched it in the one spot. Today I went to get the stitches out. And then they put more of it in there. And, uh... It's doing better now. I'm gonna try and show you what it looks like. If you're squeamish, don't look. I should not have to tell you that. You're old enough to be on the internet. You're old enough to watch my videos. You're old enough to know if something's going to disgust you. Don't look at it. So, yeah. But. The next tale of today... My mother came over, we had what's called um, piggyback fries from a place called the Money Run Tavern in my area. If you're a local and you see this video and you know the place I'm talking about, zip it, okay? It's a great place, but don't be telling people where I'm from. If I tell someone where I'm from privately, that's one thing. But given that I've gotten perverted messages and... Back when I used to do mukbangs, I had people time stamping my burps and my farts, and I've had people follow me around a store before. I am very iffy about every fucking one, okay? But yes, I'm gonna show you this. It's probably very embarrassing, but yeah. I don't know if you can see it because I don't know if it's dark back there. But I attempted to give myself an undercut, and I had the place, like, marked out, because there's, like, this crease on my skull where there's these two marks, and I think they used to be soft spots when I was a baby, but I really don't know. But it's literally, like, a line, and that's where I was gonna, like, shave to and stop, you know? So that when it got hot out, when it was hot in the laundry room, I just, you know, wasn't as bothersome. But my ass is not a hairdresser, if you didn't know. I don't have clippers, so what I had to do was pull most of it up and then take scissors and get some of it. And then I took a literal shaver like you use on your legs. It was like... Just going up and down and up and down and up and down. Needless to say... Given that I did it myself, I don't think I did that bad of a job. Given how it should have looked, I did shit. Um, I don't really have anything else going on in my life right now. Aside from missing my boyfriend, missing a tooth, and missing some hair. <laughs> my life is just... <sighs> a mistake. No. <laughs> no, um... If there's something you want me to talk about or make a video on, you're going to have to leave comments. Because honestly, I want to put videos out that people are actually going to watch. And I'm thinking about doing a live stream. Donations will be accepted. Not demanded. I'm just putting the idea out there because you bitches, I, I, I'm broke. I am broke. Your bitch is broke. My ass is broke. When I say your bitch, I mean me because... As far as my YouTube goes, I'm a bitch on here. I know I'm a bitch, right? And I'm broke. Because I used to be monetized until YouTube changed what got you monetized. And uh, <laughs> your girl don't get 4,000 hours or 4,000 minutes of watch time or whatever it is now. So, um...
if I could get my YouTube to take off, and I could make thousands of dollars a month just by getting people to watch my shit, and go in my job and be like, I'd be like, you and you and you and you and you, you're cool, you're cool, you treat me with respect, the rest of you, peace, uh, peace up, hey town down, my hair is getting so oily because I can't quit touching it, um, I have to go into work tomorrow, and I need to figure out a way to cover up my fucking undercut, my thundercut, because I fucked it up. At least I'm off this weekend. The best part about fucking up a haircut is you you get to watch it grow in fucked up. So, at least, in this case, because on the back of my head, I don't get to watch it grow in fucked up. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed my presence in your life. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.